Welcome back to the garage. In this video, I'm going to continue with the panel, uh, some of the layout, and uh, in the end, I'll give you a glimpse of uh, some of the work that's coming up. I now have the, uh, the center piece actually sitting here on the bench. So I just kind of figured I'd show you. You can see on the inside, there's the uh, nut plates on the inside. These screws are a little long, so I'll probably change those out. I'll buy I'll buy different ones, and just in case anybody cares, that's the uh, that's the package of the screws that I use. So these are 526s, uh, 62, 632R10s. So like I said, they're too long. I'll have to order some more from uh, Aircraft Spruce, but it goes together pretty good. And uh, like you've seen in the plane, at some point here, I'm gonna end up having to drill three holes here. That's where this piece attaches to the uh, <clears throat> to this piece but I'm not ready to cut that up yet I'm not sure I gotta have a look at it it looks like it might have uh, some rough surfaces on it just gotta check and see if it's uh, good I'll end up cutting it out <clears throat> and then what happens is you end up cutting this whole section here out and then you put an insert in here so this will be I'll leave a little lip in here about half an inch all the way around <clears throat> both sides here as well cut it out and the nice thing is what I can then do is with that I'll make my own insert just a temporary one a um, little lighter sheet metal so I can kind of cut it up and see how things are going to fit cheers so one of the things that's nice is of course I hadn't attached this permanently which means now I can lay it on the bench. And now that I've got this frame in here, I can start figuring out how I'm gonna mount things inside. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be working on for the next little while. I'm just kind of see how that's gonna work out. I can also see if I'm gonna have any interference with these. And already I know that this is gonna be potentially a problem, uh, but I'm gonna have to figure that out. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy this, cheers. So the first thing that I need to figure out how to mount is my vertical power. So I got a couple of options. I could mount it up here, which is what I was originally thinking about. But, um, you know, the connectors will be maybe a problem if I mount it in here. Uh, though I could probably mount it pretty low. Might be okay. The other option I have is what I'm thinking here is if I mount it here and put a brace across, then... Uh, then it gives me pretty good access. I can take this panel out over here, this panel section, and I'll be able to move it. And it gives me the back wall here still for using for other things. I'll have to figure it out. So every now and then I run into a problem where my band saw actually the, the throat of it is not long enough. So this is a great example. I measured this bar that I wanna put to hold my vertical power nine and a half inches a little bit bigger than i've got so i bought this it was pretty cheap but it's pretty handy you just kind of wedge it up you can actually clamp it on to the bench if you want to but it just allows me to do uh pretty simple nice cuts with uh with a handsaw makes it pretty convenient anyway i figured i'd share that i wasn't sure if i had that in another video okay so cut a couple of brackets that i can fit in here and my thought is what I can do now is that rest like so. Now there's a problem with the connectors, but I can manage that. I can notch this out and I need to do the same notching on both sides, but it just gives it a nice place to put it. I, uh, I may switch it around, but it gives me lots of room on both sides, actually. So I can get in and around it. It just means that I gotta be careful what I put here in the front. I can't have anything touch that. But this, I think, is where I'm gonna mount it. And if I do that, what's nice is now I can actually mount my ground bar, my ground bus up here somewhere. But uh, we'll see how it works out. I'm gonna just mock it up, do some little pilot holes and just kind of see how it works. 
The other thing that's nice is I'll be able to reach it from underneath. So if I need to update it, program it, I don't necessarily have to take it out to do that. Okay, so made up a couple of brackets here. Um, pretty straightforward. I had to uh, notch it out here in the back. As you can see, the notching, I had to notch it out in the back and the same here, just trimmed it down so that it fits good. And then what I'm gonna do is, uh, I plan on putting it in this way. So now I've got a little platform that I don't understand why it's not level, but it should be level. It will be once I get it tweaked. But uh, that should allow me to mount that so that um, my power line I can run up along here. I've got some routes for my, my other inputs for the switches over here and these guys as well to uh, feed out. Um, if I need to take it apart, I'll end up putting down here. I'll put uh, nut plates on here so that way I can unscrew it and lift this unit out. Uh, should be working pretty good for the moment. And so now what I'll do is I'll probably drill these guys out, tap and do that. And these bars will probably be uh, permanently riveted in. Okay, so I figure I'd put my ground bar here. That should work. And uh, once I have that, now what I have is this guy will go in here, like so. And only now I realized that actually this is sloped. I don't think it'll make a difference uh, when I bolt it on, but maybe uh, so it's not going to be level. So it'll be on a bit of a slope, but uh, we'll see how that works out. Otherwise, I'd have to make some offsets to level it out. And again, I don't think that's that's necessary as I go through it, right? So right here. So this is, uh, you know, probably a couple of, in, uh, maybe an inch below the back bracket. And this guy, I did some checking. I mean, I think once he's riveted on, there'll be good grounding to the rest of the plane. If not, obviously I can run a, a wire to this, but uh, so far I think it'll be good. And then I'll also mount a second. This is only temporary here. That's an AN3. I'll use an AN3 brass type screw to attach it onto the second spot. And then of course, you know, make sure I polish it behind just to get good contact. But even right now, I mean, if I look at, if I take my voltmeter here and look at the resistance between this bracket and this, you know, right now it's 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So it's, it's got good connection. But uh, I'll certainly uh, I'll certainly check it and see how well it works. And that's what it's looking like. I like it. This, like I said, now I've got this over here. That means I can run my power cable over, run it down. I've got my ground bus, and then I can put some spots on the back for me to you know attach grommets or whatever I might need, uh, or just cable ties. However, I'm going to run it. Okay, about to do the more stressful part, which is cutting out all of these pieces. You can see I got it marked off. I used about a half an inch gap. I think it could be 716 to half an inch. I put them in and kind of here in the curves, I just used a lot of different points and just joined them together. You can see I'll cut them all out. Um, for these, what I did is the easiest thing is take the vent, if you take the this part, the flange part off, you can actually just plop it down over. It almost fits the same size as the opening, which makes it fairly easy to kind of center it in there. Um, and then as I drill it out, what I'll do is I'll keep tweaking it until it's centered and go from there. Um, I think what I'll try is I'll probably do my use my Dremel tool to do this. 
I seem to have a lot of uh, success with that. Uh, use one of my cutting blades on it, cut it out, and then for the corners, what I do is I'll use like a bit like this and just kind of round them off. And for this one, what I found is um, I actually have a couple of other ones that I purchased, these guys, and uh, they work really well because it's roughly the size of this. So when this thing fits in here nicely, it means I've got a pretty good fit for that. Now I need to verify it because it's maybe they're a little different, but usually that's how it works out pretty good. And then I also have this other one here that I use um, if I want to round a corner or something, it makes a nice round corner. In here, this is a little too big for what I want to do. Um, probably work in here, but it may be better. Um, what I'll use for these is probably more like something like this smaller one. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'm going to cut them out and see how that works out and go from there. Okay, so there's my first rough cut. Now you're not going to see this anyway, but I'll still clean it up, make it nice and smooth. No sharp edges, just kind of round some of the things out. But uh, you can kind of get an idea what it's going to look like. And I did all of that with this Dremel. And that particular bit works really well, goes through pretty fast. You don't want to have your Dremel hut too high. It'll pull and you might overcut. I did in one place, but you can kind of get the idea. And uh, now I'll go and cut these guys out and clean it up a bit. One thing I should mention in case it's not obviously clear, a lot of dust from this. So you really want to wear your mask and glasses. Otherwise, you'll get it all over the place. You can see just how much is on the surface here. It, uh, it really kicks up a lot of the black dust and it's super fine. Anyway. Alrighty then, here you go. These are done. You see how they fit in there? It's pretty nice. They got the piece on the back. I've cleaned it up a little bit, filed it down with the file and uh, drilled it down uh, with the corners a little bit. And then the other one, but uh, yeah. All cut out, except for obviously where the switches are going to go. I haven't figured that out. Flaps, obviously my controls. But it, uh, it certainly gives you an idea of what it's going to look like when I put it on to the, uh, the panel. And just to give you an idea, here you go. All that black on the floor with footprints and everything else. And all over the bench, that is carbon fiber dust and... Here you can really see it. I mean, it just gets everywhere. So you definitely want to wear something that uh, keeps it from being inhaled and also uh, something you can clean out pretty quick. And another quick step forward. So I ended up cutting this out. Um, this was actually, eh, it concerned me quite a bit because if it's not cut out right, it'll look funny, but it worked out pretty good. So this is my going to be my battery master, avionics. This will be the autopilot. This one will be red. This will be the yaw damper, pitot heat, boost pump. And then I'll put my lights in a different section altogether. And then up here, I'll actually have the mags and the starter. I'm not going to use this, I don't think. Um, I'll see for sure, but I don't think so. Of course, the flaps will go here and uh, over here. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with those, but uh, it came and worked out really well. Um, the one thing I didn't mention before, just a little tidbit, I use my little rotary, to uh, rotary tool for cutting this out, my Dremel, and I have this little cutting blade on it. So that works really well. You got a little ledge you can lay it on to make it nice and cut, uh, nice and straight. But um, one of the things you can do is if you just lean this against the side of the material, it'll actually grind it away a little bit. So when you cut the hole out, you can make it a little undersized, not much, but a little. And then you can actually use that and just kind of pull it along the edge here and it'll actually grind that down. So it comes out pretty nice. And so that's what I did. It didn't quite fit. Use the edge of that and just kind of grind it down a little bit, but uh, very happy with it. it looks, uh, I think it looks snazzy, looks great. Thanks for watching. In the background, here's a glimpse of some of the things that are coming up. 
And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.